Okay, so a lot of the guys on the swap forums are using a Chevy Astro van, uh, master cylinder, and brake proportioning valve. This is a little ABS type solenoids on the bottom of that. Uh, but basically it's just a, a proportioning valve with the springs and the valve in there for the, for the, fr the front and the rear. Um, so this is all metric. Um, and then they're using the Hydro Boost system, uh, which runs off of uh, the LS1 style or any kind of really power steering pump. And essentially what happens is, is when you push on the brake pedal, it pushes the rod in, opens a little valve. The 2,000 approximately PSI from the power steering pump basically pushes harder on the piston uh, for the master cylinder. And then that's how you get your uh, extra assist. So different color canisters, they have gold ones, they have silver ones. Basically, this is kind of a reserve, it's called an accumulator. Uh, essentially, if you lose hydraulic steering fluid pressure, then you still have somewhat of some uh, quick brakes. And then after that, then you just have the mechanical uh, force from your brake pedal, uh, have a little eyelid on there, the mechanical force that pushes on this, that pushes on the piston, which pushes on the brakes, which gives you essentially manual brakes. So. A couple of numbers on this. The overall length of this is about, well, from that point where the rod starts all the way back. It's about 16, 17 inches. And overall, it's about eh, 9 to 10 inches by a lot. So it works. And if you've got power steering, it works fantastic. A lot of all the diesel stuff. The thing with the Astro is that the uh, firewall and this plate right here is actually, you can tell that it is angled. So your firewall would be straight and that would angle it down so it would clear the hood on the Astro Band. eBay, there's guys that sell um, flat plates with the four bolts and it actually has a little notch or a notch on the Hydro Boost system right here. You can see that. Uh, and then it's inside, inside the plate. There's a little tiny tab that sticks out. And this is a funky weird socket. Um, Guys sell tools for like $35, which is stupid because you can just put a big wrench on it. But it takes a lot to get it all apart. So the alternative to this is when they came out with all the hybrid vehicles and then the all-electric vehicles, um, they came out with a, it's called an iBooster, which is whatever. Comes on a lot of different vehicles. Primarily, this is an early series Tesla version. Um, the Honda CRVs come with this. This model is actually off, this item is actually off of a 2019 Honda CRV. And it works similar to that with the Hydro Boost with uh, the rod pushing on a little uh, small rod, which basically opens up hydraulic pressure to increase the boost. This does it electrically. And how this works is this connects up to your brake pedal, uh, which is kind of nice because this is a, a threaded shaft that comes out. And you, so you can unscrew this and adapt it over to whatever type of eyelet. This is, I think, 65 millimeters square, and it's a flat plate. The Teslas... They come with uh, a different style plate. They actually come with an aluminum spacer, which makes it kind of weird to, to add on. Um, and how this lays out is this is a, essentially, it's a pedal position sensor, similar to a throttle position sensor. So as you push in on the pedal, it changes the resistance on here. There's four pins inside of there. So you got ground and five volts, or 12, I can't remember which, and then two inversely proportional voltages that will come out, same as like a drive-by wire on a LS1 stock computer, or sorry, you know, 03 on up. Then over here you have the actual brain box. And what this does is basically we'll have, it's got a 26 pin connector. If you're going to get one of these from the salvage yard, try to get the big connector. It's a whole lot easier to connect it on. Um, and the other thing is, for some reason, salvage yards don't like chopping up a wiring harness for a newer vehicle and giving you the connector. So you need this. These four wires tie into here. Also coming into here, you have a 40 amp. Uh, typically very large, uh, maybe a 10 or 12 gauge wire. Then you have another small wire for battery, and then you have another small wire for switched ignition. That's all that's really needed. This brake uh, uh, master cylinder looks really, really tiny, uh, and it, it really, truly is. It's only about 3 inches by whatever. I think the piston diameter on the CRBs is like 26 millimeter, which is a little bit over an inch. Similar to the Astro Van, um, guys do, have done testing on these and pretty much for pushing down the brake pedal all the way, I think this gives you about 11 to 15 cc's of hydraulic fluid um, and four wheel disc brakes, which is nice uh, for the application that I'm going to be doing on it. The dimensions on this from the back of the um, control module 
over to one side is about six inches. Um, the bottom of this motor that's down here to the top is about nine inches. Um, and then the overall length from the master cylinder over there is like eight and a half inches from the end of the master cylinder over there, or pretty much nine, somewhere in there. This is self-contained. It works very, very well. It works the same way as drive-by wire, similar type deal where you have a throttle position sensor, or this would be a piston position sensor. Inside of here, there is a couple of things. There is, whoops, I don't want to leak, but essentially it's a worm drive. So there's a motor inside of here which turns a worm, which has a round gear, and it basically turns like this. There's a couple of springs inside of it, small light spring on this side and a very large spring on this side, or vice versa. I can't remember which. I haven't remember about taking them apart, but anyway. Essentially, uh, it just takes a little bit of a signal and it drives a big motor to give you much more torque. The CAN bus, the data on here, people are still sniffing out the code on that. Um, you really don't need it on any kind of street rod or muscle car applications. Like I said, these are about 62, 65 millimeter square. And the brake cylinder, you know what, if it'll stop a Tesla, a five, 6,000 pound Tesla at 180 miles an hour, this little brake cylinder, this master cylinder is going to stop any kind of street rod or muscle car. So, the other thing is, this is off a 2019 Honda CRV. It has a remote brake cylinder uh, for, the, for the brake fluid. Um, pretty simple. You can get them anywhere. They're like 20 bucks. Willwood actually sells one on eBay. They're like 35 bucks. This unit came off eBay. Prices vary as of January of 23. They're going for about 165 to 200 dollars a piece. Um, these, you can get them off an Astro van, the Hydro Boost, the Master Cylinder, all this stuff, like 25 bucks, 50 bucks, depending upon where you're at. Um, I like the compactness of this. Uh, and the other thing is, is people say, well, what if the electronics fail? What if the electronics fail on a new fuel injected car, it, which is highly rare? The car's going to die, big deal. You won't be able to drive it. This, the electronics, it's a sealed unit. You cannot crack this open. They have weird, funky screws on everything. Can't get it open. Um, if it does fail, you still have the mechanical portion where you push on the brake pedal, pushes on the piston, pushes on the master cylinder, which gives you manual brakes. Really, really simple, really small. How much does this thing weigh? I'm estimating about five pounds. This thing probably 10, 15 pounds, because this is cast steel, both have an aluminum master cylinder, but this whole assembly over here is cast aluminum. Um, the other thing is you can take this plate off. If that doesn't work, there's a screw here. Another one on the other side, you can make a different adapter plate, laser cut something, whatever you want to do. Um, but they pretty much just flat out work, and it is called an eye booster. So, kind of a neat deal. So, we'll see how this works on our next project.